Welcome to the island of Mars and to the area with the Moclay Museum. We are going into the Moclay pit to try to look for fossils and for that purpose we need a hammer. So let's go down into the pit and collect some fossils. Now we are in the Moclay pit on the other side of the road from the museum and uh, this is uh, a pit where they have been digging clay for more than uh, 20 years. They are not digging in this pit anymore, but they are still possible to find stuff inside. They use the clay for insulation bricks and for cat litter. And the layers you see here behind me is uh, the volcanic ash layers and the mo clay. And for instance, a brick or a piece like this with fine levels is a, a good place to start for looking, looking for fossils. This piece of clay is have a small crack here. It hasn't been split before, but I can help it a little bit with hammering along the layers. And this is often very good to split. And yes, you can see parts of fishes here, small parts of fishes there, and on the counterplate as well. Let's go to the museum. We are now at uh, the Moclay Museum, and I would like to tell you about the fossils and the stones we have here inside the exhibition. This stone is a calcareous concretion and uh, this type here contains a lot of fossils. The black lines here are volcanic ash layers and the bright layers in between are sediment. And the layers here are approximately 55 million years old. And I would like to show you what I have found, the best fossils I have found in this type of rock. Uh, this is uh, the best preserved turtle that's found worldwide. And uh, the reason why it's so uh, well preserved is because the moclay contains a lot of small algae called diatoms. The diatoms have preserved uh, this uh, fossil because it has taken all the oxygen on the sea floor. And take a look at it. Look at it. It's fantastic in preservation. In the moclay, we find the fossils as imprints. So we have two different preservations. Imprints like this one. Actually, it's a hole after a fish, and with the mackerel, it's the bones that's transformed to another mineral called calcium phosphate. From the moclay, we can find a lot of uh, seeds uh, belonging to different type of plants. And one of the special ones that tells about the climate 55 million years ago are these wine seeds. This is small grapes, and uh, we also find uh, small seeds from uh, from palms and, and other different type of plants that was living uh, in this subtropical climate. Also, you can find, for instance, leaves from the redwood and there's also some leaves from oak and other types of plants. But all fairly rare. Well, now I'm, uh, wor I'm working on a fish I found um, a month ago in the pit and um, it was totally covered in stone and now I have uh, gently removed some of the stone so you can see it's almost finished, 10 hours more. And this is very exciting, it's like uh, finding the fish once more. First you find it in the pit, that's very exciting, and then dig it out and see how complete and how fine details there is in a fish like this. Mm -hmm. 